Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast 3D printing tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are on my website, hlmodtech.com. Today, we started with a 3D printer tab. This little link shows us the Mingda Magician X2, and I have received a bunch of questions about how to get the bed to present the print instead of going to the back. I've got a solution for you. Let me show you how quick we can fix it. So the first part of the test, you can see I have the Magician X2 loaded. I am printing the Tiny Cube. I always recommend this when you start because it is the best way to get your printer tested when it first arrives. It is a quick print, more likely to be successful, and it lets us test the settings. I will show you quick. I'm using extra fast 0 0.3, 0 0.8, 0 0.8 for the walls, top and bottom. My infill is 20. I'm using the grid. I'm printing with PLA at 200 and a bed of 60 and a speed of 60. I do not use any support or adhesion when I print. This is the Mingda Magician printing that cube I just showed you. The print head covers the print, but you can kind of see it doing the square shape right there. It's starting to fill in that bottom layer. All right, so here we are four minutes later, and our print is back there. What we want is the print up here. Let me show you how to change that coat and make it happen. All right, so these steps are super quick. Let me show you. We're going to go to Settings, Printer, and we're going to Manage Printers. Right now I've got the Magician activated, so we can click on Machine Settings. And let me show you the adjustments. So if we slide this down, this is your generic stock code. I put semicolons in front of them, which make those all comments. So that way we can still see what was there. Real quickly, it sets G91, which is relative positioning. Notice semicolons are comments. It retracts a bit. It retracts and raises Z. Right here we wipe out, this raises Z a little bit more, switches to absolute positioning, and then it sends a move command with the machine depth variable. This is the part that presents the print. These three turn off the fan, the hot end, and the bed. If for some reason you did not want that to happen, you can just put a semicolon in front of each of those. That is up to you. If you're running many prints at a time, you may wanna keep that running. If you want your printer to cool down after it finishes, those are super smart to have. Finally, it disables all the steppers except Z. It's that simple. Now I'm gonna have this code in the description of the video. You can simply copy and paste it. You could delete all this, although I kind of like the semicolon, so I can always look back to how it was. I do want you to know I also changed my start code. If you wanna copy and paste that, I will have it in the description of this video as well. Friends, that's all there is to it. I'm going to close this, close this, and I've already saved this to the SD card so you can see how it works with the new end settings. The start of the process looks absolutely the same. I do that strip along the left, and then eventually it'll finish the cube. The only difference is when this one finishes, it is going to push the bed to the front to present the print. The start code adjustment is what puts this line on the left to prime the extruder. And check it out. After that many minutes with preheating, we have got a presented part. That's how easy it is to set up. Friends, there is also the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.